Palestinians in Gaza remember a time when almost everyone could drink fresh clean water from the top. Now less than 4% of the fresh water is drinkable and the surrounding sea is polluted by sewage. And without any alternatives, residents are forced to use this water for bathing and washing, even though supply is unpredictable and irregular. This coastal aquifer supplies 95% of Gaza's water and is in a state of extreme overuse. Water extraction rates are more than three times the renewable supply. So seawater infiltrates the aquifer, and salinity levels have risen well beyond World Health Organization guidelines for safe drinking water. The situation is compounded by contamination of the aquifer by nitrates from the untreated sewage of 2 million people. Millions of liters of sewage are discharged into the coast of Gaza every day. Every other day, residents of the eight refugee camps inside Gaza carry empty bottles and jerry cans through tiny alleyways to a private water vendor. Young children join their parents as many hands make light work. Families often spend the equivalent of 10 US dollars a month on this water, a large sum for cash strapped families living in the coastal enclave. The World Health Organization has set the minimum requirement for daily per capita water consumption at 100 liters. This amount should cover basic domestic needs such as drinking, bathing, cooking and washing. In Gaza, average daily per capita consumption is only 88 liters. In Israel, by comparison, it is more than 200. Salwa's family home is one of the many homes in the Gaza Strip that are not connected to a sewage system. They rely on open, uncovered pits that they empty themselves to empty their sewage. Too often, their children suffer from skin issues and diarrhea. <laughs> The family's story is not unique. Gaza's water and sanitation crisis is escalating dangerously, with clean water increasingly scarce and almost a third of households not connected to a sanitation system. Water pollution is among the factors causing a dramatic increase in kidney problems in the Gaza Strip, with a 13 to 14 percent increase every year in the number of patients admitted with kidney problems to Gaza City's Shifa Hospital. تعد من أهم أسباب غسيل الكلى في قطاع غزة تحديدا تلوث المياه تأثير المياه الملوثة وتباين نسبة الأملاح وتركيز الصوديوم في المياه يؤثر على الأطفال وكذلك الكبار ومعدل التأثير على الأطفال يكون بشكل أعلى من الكبار لأن الأطفال بيكونوا في مرحلة النمو والنضوج. Israel's blockade of Gaza severely limits materials from entering, making it incredibly difficult to develop water and sanitation infrastructure. And a recent Oxfam report says that only less than 16% of items needed to construct vital water infrastructure reaches Gaza. <laughs> The sea was once Gaza's only estate in this tiny enclave, the one place where residents could depart from their interest lives if only for an hour. But because of skyrocketing levels of pollution, the 25-mile coastline is now another barrier in a place where barriers are all too common.